kind of come in full circle here with this beginning. I love Mesa. All right, vlog seven. Vlog seven. Oh my gosh, vlog seven. Fire ride along. You guys, we had a couple suggestions for a fire ride along. The police ride along went really good. That was our vlog four. Dang it. Please ride along was vlog four. We had a lot of positive, a lot of positive feedback from that. And so we were very excited to do the fire ride along to give both sides of public safety. What's cool about obviously police and fire, not only that they provide public safety, but that they often work together at scenes. So we were really excited to get this fire ride along. Like I was, I was a little bit more nervous, I guess, with the fire ride along because at least with Officer Wesley with the police one, it's just him. You know, it's just one person. There's a lot of guys that I have to make think I'm cool, you know, and that's harder than just one. Easier for me with one. 10, a little bit more difficult. We're gonna go. Bye. Bye. Be safe. Don't tell me what to do. Let's go. Oh, pepping your step. Firefighters, eh? <laughs> this seems something like we've done before. I know, it's like deja vu. <laughs> I hope we get a cool firefighter. Can we make a request? Can we, can we make a recommendation? We probably will fill at the fire station for a little bit. I hope so. It's hot. 800 feet. 700 feet. It's coming! You'll see it. Oh, is that it? Right there? Right here? This is it. Back at ya. It's a cool entrance. It's a cool building. Can you come in? <laughs> Hello. Hello, ladies. How's it going today? Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm Brittany. Brittany, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Rihanna. Rihanna, nice, nice to meet you. you. How you guys doing? Good. So we get in there and the first thing we were given is a tour of the station, which was really cool. Ladies, this is Bruce McGregor. He's our shift yeah. commander. How you doing? Hi, Brittany. Hello. How you doing? Meet you. We've resuscitated a whole bunch of animals using this equipment. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we've got an engine and a ladder assigned to the station. They're both out on calls right now. So our fire ride along was at Fire Station 201 in downtown Mesa, one of the busiest stations in the city. And what's special at this specific station is that they have the command vehicle. Anything of a large scale that needs people running the scene from a, from a, from a location and having eyes on it, they have this command vehicle. This command vehicle has a huge camera on this big tower that goes up. Holy cow! So that's the that's the camera. That's the camera. Hey, there's our building. Hi. That's the building. Yeah, that's where we work. What floor? No way! <laughs> oh, it gets there. <laughs> that's, that's it. Very sensitive. Len and Lily. <laughs> Chiefs, they have enough on their plate. They just want to come in here and run their call. So everything else yeah. that has to happen, we need to make happen. Brianna, what do you think about that uh, that command center? Super cool. I'm, they have so much tent in there. I'm we can to, do anything. There. I'm waving to Corey every morning. <laughs> Hello. From, the, from our window. Can you, can you see me? Can Brittany, you? Mike Castillo, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Mike. Yeah. Rihanna? Nice Chris, Brittany. Nice to you. I'm Bo, nice to meet you. Hey, Bo, Brittany. Hey. Our other company's coming back, they're on the way. So they asked for you, we're going to have you carry around. Okay. When you want to call us, you need to wear these as observers. Okay. So I'm just going to get one to each of you. Thank you. So after the tour, the engine and the ladder came back, and we got to meet a couple of the crew members, but we weren't there long before we got our first call. Now, like I did with the police ride along, I'm gonna have Rihanna come and talk about her calls so that way I don't forget anything and then she gets to talk about her experiences. And it worked out well the last time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again and it's kinda like, a, I don't know, it's nice. So, Rihanna, right here. Hey, Rihanna. Hey. 
That was cool. It was like it was pretty cool. It was I feel like, like you. Edit. I can edit this. Don't panic. Don't panic. I hope you do. All the stuff I think you're gonna cut out, you actually keep in, and it's me embarrassing myself. So let's make it look stupid. <laughs> I, we have requests. Uh, no fires. No fires. No but fires. That's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why I gave a why sad face. Why are you face. being sad? About why are you guys that? being conscious of with your <laughs> with job, your guys. No with fires. your matches and your loose wires? God, be Gosh, more don't irresponsible. You know we're filming a vlog. <laughs> but we did get about four four calls. Yeah, four calls. The first call was. Ew. So the call was that the guy cut his finger off, and then we showed up, and he had just like a deep cut. <laughs> Oh, injured person. Everything's right. Seems so serious. Get on in. My radio is like cool. Thanks. <laughs> I like that we got to wear the little. Yeah, we got to wear the, the headsets. Headphone, so we list can hear the little them. things. I know. We <laughs> just cared about the headsets. How do I look? We actually have a unit that can come out here and respond as a physician's assistant or a nurse practitioner that can actually stitch him up on scene. This guy's gonna be able to not have to go to the hospital potentially because of it, so. It's the only difference. So can you tell me what's the difference between an engine and a ladder, <laughs> sir, please? Yeah, it doesn't sound like you really wanna know. So there's a difference between the ladder and the engine? Not just the bucket. I thought it was just a little bucket up top. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. Any, any type of a call that we get that's a medical call, both of our engines and ladder companies are gonna do the exact same thing. So we both have two paramedics and two EMTs on every truck. Uh, where it changes is once we get into our larger incidents on a fire, <clears throat> our engine companies are the ones that are gonna be going to the interior. Then our ladder companies would go to the roof and cut holes while the engine companies go on the inside and, and search for victims. It's call? more than just a bucket. It is more than just a bucket, just a bucket. So then the second call was... Second call was the unconscious man. Yes, unconscious man. So we rode, the first call was with the ladder. The second call was with the engine. Are you positive about that? I sure am. Okay. All those best, they do you <laughs> Thank you so much, I might keep it. <laughs> Another medical call. Police are on scene. Police are on scene. Um, person was unconscious, but he's awake now. And often, police and fire actually work together a lot. It's very common that they both respond to a uh, same scene. We love these vests. I think we're gonna keep them. Oh, another cop just came. I'm gonna show you. Hello. Oh, Officer Leslie. Uh, that's him. No. Oh. With Wes. You know what, Mr. Wesley? That was awesome. Thank you. That's He's awesome. the greatest guy on the planet, isn't he? It's so cool. Yeah, so are you guys. <laughs> you did great. Thanks. You did really good. So you now, did a fire truck right yeah. His vitals are all stable. And so typically what happens here, um, to go in by ambulance is a huge cost. So a lot of these people don't want to do that. They don't want to incur the cost or be bothered for that for that matter, so what's probably gonna happen, he's gonna refuse, we're gonna have to call our doctor, make sure that it's okay for him to refuse, and then let him go on his way there. 
We gave him some water, some food, and we left. But while we were in the car, we got another, another call. Another call, that was for a car accident. <laughs> bone accidents which is typically one of our worst ones. Um, four, four riders, three in one car, one on the other. Um, the single vehicle that got T-boned, we took that lady into a trauma center. And then in the other vehicle, initially they told us there was no issues. We ended up transporting two people. One because they hit the windshield, had no issues with their mentation. The second person said that they hit the seat in front of them, was having a change. So we sent them in immediately. Yeah, go. <laughs> oh, guys. I'm gonna play really dramatic music again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a whole lot in there, didn't you? And then we went back to the station. Mission. And then we got the crazy call where the lights were flashing in the fire station, we ran through the hallway, jumped in the fire Yeah, we ran, truck. we ran because it was someone who wasn't breathing. So the, cool. the intensity and the pace yeah. was like lifted with that because the person was like- and we just had to keep up with them. Am I in your way? Broadway, what? Don't be Broadway. You're pulling up on that one, Joe. Well, we got to the scene, another engine was already there taking the call. So we didn't have to take that call. The other unit's gonna take it for it. Okay. But it was a crazy, like, rush yeah, those moment. minutes, I mean, we were out of there, like, 30, 45 seconds. Like, they, I yeah. think they had, like, a clock or a like, timer thing. Look at my coffee right where I left it. That's my coffee was crazy just crazy to see. I know we left our there. coffee and come back an hour later. It's right there. And it's cold. cold. But okay. she still drank it. I drank it. I didn't. Cold coffee's good. That's fine. It's like pizza. There's many stages. Hot. But you didn't kind of hot. You didn't reheat room it. temperature. Cold. Coffee's the same thing. Hot. Gross. Kind of hot. Room temperature. Cold. All are good. Gross. <laughs> Gross. There's no such thing. Um, Bye. Rihanna's gonna go back. Am I gone? You're gone. <laughs> Thanks, Greg, for everything. Thank you. Bye -bye. Really appreciate it. Corey, bye bye. Happy birthday. Yeah, bye bye. Be careful, don't get hurt. <laughs> it's so great to see the camaraderie between our public safety entities and to see how well they work together and to see how awesome the fire department is and how quickly they can respond to calls and how efficient they are. Okay, so I'm editing this vlog and like last vlog, I forgot something. Uh, how to do a ride along. So basically the only way you can do a fire ride along is if you're on that track for employment to do that as a job. So to do a fire ride along, you pretty much have to be in that line as a career set. However, uh, there are other ways you can volunteer with Mesa Fire Department. And I will put that link down below if you're interested in volunteering and getting involved. In the description down below will be the link to the volunteer programs for the fire department. Sorry about that. Now back to wrapping up the vlog. Sorry. So that's it. That's vlog seven. Vlog, shoot, vlog, seven, nope, seven.
it's over, it's done. It was amazing. We've done now a police ride along and a fire ride along. Uh, our city's awesome. They have some great public safety entities. Very, very proud. You guys should be too. Next vlog, vlog eight. I'm not gonna do my hands because I don't even know what I'm doing. Vlog eight. Uh, well, that's it. That's vlog, that's vlog, that's vlog seven, it's over. Vlog eight, T next week, vlog eight, pool tour. As of right now, we're gonna do three pools. Uh, that's all, that's it. I'm just gonna, you know what, to end it, I'm just gonna put the lens cap back on because it's simple. Peace.